gosh. Well, it's supposed to be quick. Now what does that do? Oh, okay. So I picked these up from a guy. Let's turn it like that. Now I hit. Oh, what the heck? That. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Hey, get back here. Whoa, who's who's firing rockets? Oh my gosh, that dude's got rockets. <sighs> oh, jeez. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Terra Tech Worlds. And uh, today we need to focus on getting some more titanium. In the last episode, we kind of ventured out into the snow mountains over there and did find some resources for titanium and tungsten. However, we were not able to really use like a fragmenter to refine more titanium out of that. And I think we only got like a couple of pieces. So if we look here, I ended up getting some tungsten and we only got two titanium. And then we also got this strontium. And I did break some of that down. So I have a little bit of tungsten refined right here. And some of the stron, stron, strontium, however you say that, uh, also refined. So for today, we need to go and figure out a way to take our little fragment over there and start mining more titanium. So I have a couple of ideas for doing that. And one of them is I've made this little, made a little set of, of little fragmenting, little mini base here. So we're gonna take this little fragmenter, a couple of little platforms, and then one little power station, and maybe a couple of silo, a few little silos and some connectors. And this will allow us to set, like hopefully I can find like an area that has kind of a lot of material in it. And then we can just set that up, run it, and see if we can, you know, get more, more titanium because there are a few things we still need to build and one of those things is I need I need I need some strong strontium for this little crab cab thing what do I need I may actually have enough for that I need five and then I need 20 of the tungsten purified tungsten which I don't think I have enough of that at all so we just have 12 or fine so that'll be split in half and then I'll ha I think I can get enough strontium, but we will still need to do some fragmenting because I really want to get this other cab right here. This this sucker it really has a lot of benefits to to it as far as powering our little 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 bot thing. <laughs> so so yes, yeah, so we need to do that, and then we still need to make the little solar generator, and that's going to re require some strontium, which I could probably do that right now and see what kind of power output we get from that thing. Why don't we do that before we head out? And then also we have this frost regulator and this tech heater. Now I made the tech heater at the end of the last episode. I didn't really record it. I turned it off right before I, I ended the episode right before I made it, but I went ahead and made it. I haven't actually done anything with it. So we need to figure out what it's for. Maybe this is so that you can put it in your base. I don't really know what this is for. We're gonna have to like kind of figure this out. I may bring this with us because maybe it will like make the make the area. I don't know because this doesn't go on our vehicle. And neither does this one. So they're for the base. I don't know. But I did happen to see over here. If we go to our little block fabricator for our vehicle, there's a couple of or a new thing actually. Where is it at? Okay, we have the EM scanner. We could make that. I don't know what that does. I think someone said that that helps track the ores and stuff or the veins. So I don't know, we'll have to experiment with that. Here it is, okay. So the pulse furnace, yes. Yeah. So the pulse furnace just now showed up into this thing to be made, but only after I like destroyed some of the, uh, uh, the little bad guy, enemy guys over here. And there's a specific place that I destroyed them that I ended up getting a tech furnace. So you'll notice I have four of them right now. And these, I don't really know. If, if I put it on, I don't know what it does. Like nothing happens over here. We're still negative 71, right? So I need to like figure out what to do with that thing. And then also I picked up another type of shield little generator thing. And I got another one over here too. So I want to put these on here because we still need to like overheat our vehicle when we're over there and to figure out, you know, what's the best way to do that. And last time I had to put like a million guns on, on my vehicle. 
and it was a little too risky because if somebody shoots like one of the guns off, which they stuck up really high and it was real easy for them to do that, then then you would overheat, like not overheat, I keep saying overheat, but you would basically underheat and freeze to death and you would, you would get frozen and destroyed. So, and it happens really quickly. The same thing with the overheating, it happens very quickly too. But anyway, so we're, we're gonna figure that stuff out and then I wanna show you guys this little this little base here, mini. This was a mini base, and it's now turned into a big, <laughs> a big kind of refinery base. And what I have going on over here, let's look. So right in this area, we have a purifier, and it's purifying the, the. Well, I guess it needs to purify copper. So we had it purifying some other materials over here. So basically, I just put it. The way this thing works is it tends to just go down a row. So as long as you have everything down in a row, it will just start taking everything in that area and purifying it. And then it will. And what I have is it like it's being fed from this silo into the machine and then out of the machine using these little conduit pipes and then into this silo. And then you can see we've kind of built up quite a bit of purified material there. And I have a few more generators running and they're running on refined carbon. So they last a good while. And over here I have the scrapper, which I love this thing. I want to show you guys the scrapper in action. And this is the, 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 uh, whatever, the fragmenter. I keep wanting to say frag fraction thing. I don't know why I keep messing up the word, but yeah, it's the fragmenter. And, and so that is really good. So basically like what I've been doing and there's no trees over here, as you can tell, but I need to get like more carbon going. So I'll just grab like a tree and I have like a little, a little transporter beam right here. And then this guy stands no chance on us. I can take him out really quick. Gosh, oh, it's supposed to be quick. There we go. <laughs> but yeah, so is he still? And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scoop up all this stuff and then I'll show you how we break this down for more materials. And then I'm gonna cut down this tree and you only need like one, one tree, cut it down at the very bottom. So there's like, if you look here, there's a section there and there's another section. And then there is a, probably one up there somewhere. I don't wanna do it, damn it, there. So, what you do is you just chop it right here at the lower base, and then you just grab it. And grab the, there's a little bit of carbon stuff at the base. And we'll just take this dude over to our base over here. And this will get broken down in the fragmenter. My little rover's a little faster now, so we'll just slap this over there. I think I need to turn it on though. Turn it on. There we go. And we're going to take out these guys right here. Everybody's going to start going back and messing with us. Uh, we got this dude here. What is that thing? So, so our little dude's pretty powerful now. Take him out. Oh, we got this dude. Uh oh, I'm, I'm getting too cold. Too cold. I can't go too far inside of there yet. You gotta watch out for that. Take out this guy. Come on, dude. Stop it. And then we're gonna mess with this guy. Grab him before. Oh, let's get all this ammunition over here, too. And I think my thing's full. So I have the large base, I mean the large container installed. Somebody shooting at us? This guy's still shooting at us. What you doing? All right. So yeah, I have the large container here and it's huge by the way. So if we look here and we can flip over our guy. So let's flip him over. And so if we zoom in, I have a giant large battery right here, or no, two giant batteries. One's right here, one is right there. This is our cab. And you can see like everything that highlights when you scroll over it is what's affected by the cab. And then like this is the battery, so it affects the frame. I mean, the stores helps the frame. And then everything else, you know, you can kind of tell what is working from 
you know, everything. So this is the wheels and they're connected to the chassis. So we'll get a bonus from that. So as it highlights, you can kind of tell what part of the, of the vehicle is being boosted by the bonuses that it has. So you can see here on the Centurion cab, we have all the modifiers. So we have like plus three and plus one. And these are all the current modifiers that are affecting, you know, the vehicle in some way or another. Um, but yeah, so the storage thing, like I was saying, this is it right here. It's huge and it just, it's massive. And oh, what in the world? Well, let's fix that. <laughs> so if we look in our storage, it doesn't even show up right here. See, and you have to go to the next page. And then this is the, the storage and it's got all big stuff in it right now. So what I do with this, cause I don't need any of this stuff. So I just chunk it in this thing, this giant silo and I'll just put everything inside of here because I don't need any of this stuff. Let's see, double check it real quick, make sure it's nothing special. Oh, that's kind of a, actually I'm going to keep that one. That's new. I haven't seen that. So, so now that is processing all that material and it is scrapping everything into uh, ore and stuff. So if you look over here in this silo, then it all pops up over here. And so it just adds to this. So we can kind of see, it'll load up these little ports. And then each one of those ports using all of this intricate, you know, connector tube stuff is going around and, you know, loading this thing up. But yeah, what did I get here? Oh yeah, let's go here and I want to save that thing in our inventory. And let's see. I expanded our our inventory also, or our tech yard inventory. And you guys can tell, like if you if you go here and you scroll over it, like everything kind of highlights. So I, I like that. Now that I kind of figured out what that's doing. But if I <clears throat> if I go to this thing and I highlight the tech yard, you can tell all the storage containers are active. So we have five storage containers plus the main one that should be like 1200 slots available right yeah so we're using 214 out of 1200 of our storage and, and then this thing is breaking down so look at that we've gotten some of this material here and i keep trying to organize it a little bit but it's a lost cause a little bit <laughs> same same with over here and now i need to put in this stuff over here so i don't need those tires Need that or that or that or that chassis will give us a bunch of materials and these wheels just make sure I don't want to you know scrap my good stuff so you have to be very careful because you can because it pulls it in quickly <laughs> all right so here I'm going to put in all of this okay so now let's try to figure out what we can do to make our vehicle last over here now that we have some of this stuff going Let's take this. Is that still processing? No, it's not. Let's make sure. Yeah, okay, so that's gonna start processing all that iron into all of that. So we're getting a lot of good purified components. All right, so now let's figure out our vehicle because we cannot make it in the thing. So I have these things right here, this pulse furnace. So we're gonna put that on. I don't know what it does though. And then also I have these guys, what do these do? Actually, I'm gonna move away from my base. It's kind of loud. There we go. Let's just get over here right on the edge of where the temperature starts. There it goes. Uh oh. Okay. So it's kind of weird. It's got like little cold spots. See, that's strange. It's that. Man, it really affects us. So that little. Did I put that furnace on? Did I put that on somewhere? Yeah, it's right there, right? Okay, so we're at negative 105 C. If I take it off, we're still at negative 105. So what does that do? If I go to, don't we have like a area where we can, yeah, here we go. Do, do we have pulse furnace in here somewhere? Oh, here's that other thing too. Wait, where did it go? Here it is, this thing right here. So the EM scanner allows your cab to scan to to trace the electrical currents of minerals nearby when attached to your vehicle. Interesting, okay. Where is the other thing? Here it is, okay. 
It's Pulse Furnace. The Pulse Furnace can save a tech from freezing when activated at the right moment. Okay, it says something else over there. One, one, one resource usage. What's that mean, one resource usage? Okay, so, so I have to activate it? Is it, how do I activate it? Is it like a weapon thing? Uh, oh. Do I have two of them on here? Oh, there's another one. Oh, I must actually put a second one on. So, what is that? I didn't notice that thing popping up. Okay, so that is set to activate when I press a button. Let's make it when I press this button. Okay, we have two of these. So what is our temperature at? It is, right now, it's negative 102 over here. And we can kind of see in the lower left corner too. So let's hit control to activate it. Did that activate? Negative 103, <laughs> we got colder. How does that work? Let's just go in a little bit. Yeah, we're still freezing to death. Okay, if I hit it now. I'm trying to, it, am I, are we doing anything? Negative 112. I don't think that's doing anything. Okay, so we're, we're negative 112. If I take it off. Okay, negative 13, 113. How does this gonna work? Can I just put all of these on here? I, I don't, oh, what is it doing? Well, why is my paint job doing weird stuff? Hey, did we go, did it go up? It went up. Why does it look like that? Why are we... Oh, we're overcharged now. Man, I'm confused at what's going on. Okay, so now we're at negative 79. Let's look at our temperature. If we go in further, we're starting. We're getting colder. We're getting colder. We're getting too cold. Let's hit, let's turn it on. Can we turn it on? Oh, oh, shoot. Who's shooting at me? It's not the time to shoot at me, dude. Okay. I'm trying to figure stuff out. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know what this furnace thing does. It sounds like it's supposed to help, but I don't think it's helping. Okay. Let me just deal with you guys real quick. Oh my god, I'm, I'm like falling apart. I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. Oh my gosh. Back up. Back up. We're going backwards. There we go. Restore. We almost, we almost froze to death. I'm tired of messing with you guys. Okay. Man. So, I'm not really sure what, what the biscuit is going on here with, with that thing. Okay, so how do these, do these need to be attached to something? Maybe they need to be attached to like our battery or something? that makes sense? Let's move this over here. Because maybe it's our battery that has all the issues. I don't know. Okay. I mean, we're still, like, just in the, the green. So, if I activate it, I mean, it's not really doing anything. Let's go over here and see. Okay, temperature's going down, temperature's going down. Seems like it's doing something. Let's activate it. I mean, this is, I normally can't make it this far. So they're, they're obviously doing something, but we are starting to break down. We're getting, we're getting damaged. So, whoa, see you later, dude. Um, all right. Well, let's see what we can do here. i to figure this out. Well, let's go ahead and put, well, where should I put this thing at? I'm gonna put it on the back. I don't see, I have a good spot on the back for this thing. Do I? Oh, I don't think it works on the back because I, I have stuff in the way. How about here? Let's see. Like that? That looks good. 
All right, and then also have these other ones too. Let's uh, let's put this on. Now what does that do? Oh, okay. So I picked these up from a guy. Let's turn it like that, and then look at that. Making like a little shield around ourselves. A double action shield. All right, get on board with that. Okay, so, so now we need to figure out how to keep ourselves from overheating. This is such annoying. I don't want to stick a million guns on there. I was hoping these little furnace things would have done it. Okay, we go in there and so little furnace things are not doing it. I think something else I can do is, let's go over here. This might actually be a better idea. Let's take this cab, and this is like just the basic cab, and I think I can put that on. Those are going to get blown off, aren't they? So I have another one right there too. Okay. Put that on right there. I mean, I think these things are doing something, but how many of those do I need? I don't understand. I don't really know what they're doing. So let's take this cab. Let's put this cab on somewhere. Yeah, let's just put it right there. Now, now we're overheating. Holy cow! I'm gonna take this guy off. I'll put our cab on in here somewhere. Probably should have done this on our. Are we? Uh oh, that does not look good at all. Overheating now? Oh, I feel like we're really overheating. Go, go in the water. Falling apart. Falling apart. Falling apart. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if we stay in the water, we, we stay cool. Okay, so let's just run over here real quick if we don't catch on fire. Repair ourselves. Wow, we are away. We're at 248 of 125. So, can I make it to the to the water before we fall apart? Uh, nope, we're gonna fall apart in the water, aren't we? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, hey, I think it's starting to come down. Uh oh, we're still maybe losing some parts here. Oh, oh crap. Okay. <laughs> Maybe these little heater things, maybe we don't need those. Let's take these off. Uh oh, back on there. Okay, we'll leave, leave one on. Okay, now are we, f what is going on with our thing? Okay, so now it's not overheating as bad, but I lost half my stuff, so I'm just gonna fall apart here in a second. Get repaired. And he's already cooking up. So we're just gonna haul butt backwards into the cold. This is why I built the, our little mini base near the cold. Okay, so we're starting to come down. Starting to, still a little warm. Still a little warm. Okay, I think I think we can. If I hit the control. I got one of those furnaces on. Okay, let's go over here. I think it's even, oh, why are we getting hot? Okay. So let's go over here and take out this dude real quick. Okay. Oh, there's another guy. Else is shooting at me. Oh my gosh, that dude. He's tearing us up a little bit. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm 
losing it. I'm dying, so we gotta repair. We can't repair when they hit us. Okay, we're in trouble now. Something those shields would have done better. Man, he's got batteries on. If we just take out his battery, it'll explode. Anything interesting on you? Got some tires. Maybe I need to try those type of wheels he has. Do we have I don't even have my lasers anymore. I'm gonna repair again. Oh I can't repair. Why are my lasers not firing? Oh we're out of power. How are we out of power? Wait a second, why is our power not regenerating? Take this thing off. Our power is still not regenerating. Is it because we're repairing right now? Weird. So, out of power, wait for the recharge before firing again. Why is it not recharging? What the heck is going on? Why are we not recharging? Doesn't make no sense. Okay, there we go. Finally, we're recharging. Weird. Not really sure. I, I, I guess maybe we had to repair? It's slow recharge rate, though. Alright, so there's some guys over here that have the extra shield pieces and some other things. Yes, yeah, so there's the guys over there. We need to get our power up, though. So let's move, let's look around while our power is building back up. I don't see that they have any shields on. You can actually see it when they have the shield, but one of those may have those little furnace things, which I don't really know if that is helping us or not. So let's go over here. Okay, see anything? I don't see any other little rovers. Weird. Okay. I don't want to go up this little hill. We got to watch out for these plants right there. Bam. So let's work our way up this mountain. Okay, here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, bad, bad dudes. All right, bad plants. Get the heck out of here. Okay. So what's over there? Oh, we're at the very top of the mountain. I kind of wonder what, what. I wonder what's up there now that we're actually able to drive around. Let's look over here. Oh, they're shooting at me. Man, those guys have a long range. Okay. I don't see any black... Oh, jeez. I don't see any black pits anywhere. Uh, maybe one right there. And then I wonder if there's anything on top of that mountain. That's kind of far to go, though. I'm looking for a place to set up our little... Um, little mining spot. Oh, there's a plant right there. Can I go up this hill? You can do it. Come on. Oh, there, oh there's a big place over here. Okay. Let's get up on top of this. So there's a lot of those death flowers over here. Oh, look at that. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of flower. Death flowers or whatever you want to call them. Plants. Are, is there a lot of mineral or ore stuff? So, what am I, what am I on? Uh oh. Oh, oh, that dude, dude, back up. I need to take out that guy. Can't even look. There we go. They're not too difficult. You just have to, you can't get very close to them. Okay, good. But that guy, we're on some ice. Ooh, lots of flowers right there. We have the little bouncy plants. To watch out for that. The temperature's dropping. Why is the temperature dropping? Okay, we have to watch out for those things for sure. Okay, any others around here? Oh, wait a second. So it's nighttime? Or it's a storm or something, and it's gotten colder. Man, the weather really does play a big role in this thing. Okay, we're, we're dropping in temperature. But it looks like I see, I see, I see a plant there. Some ore there, ore there, ore there. 
Some ore over here, I thought. Okay, I'm not dropping too cold. We're getting a little bit of frost, though. If I put this thing on now, will it help us? It does help us. Look at that. We went up. Now, if I hit control... So, so is it just automatic or something? Or do I actually actually... Do I have to actually hit a key? I just don't understand how that's used. I need some instructions, people. Can you flower settle down? There we go. Okay, so we, we got those guys taken care of. All right, I think this is a good spot maybe to set up our little base. It's not too far from where we're at. So I'm gonna come back here and kind of figure this out. I still wish I could figure out this, well, figure out these generator things. If you guys know, definitely leave some comments below so I can kind of get an idea of what we can, how we can best use these things. All right, we're gonna go down this way. So I'm gonna come up here. This will at least keep us from exploding. And then I think if I take this thing and slap it on right there, we'll just run with, do we actually get both? Oh, we can run two cabs at the same time. Are you kidding me? I had no idea we could do that. <laughs> Okay, well that actually may make it even easier than I thought. Oh, I can't drive though. Oh, it says tech is inoperable. Use the build mode tab. Okay, so we can't actually run with two cabs. That stinks. Okay. So, well, we'll just slap that cab on right there. Put this one. Oh, geez. Okay, put this one here. Now, until we can kind of figure out what we can do here. Now, I do have, I, I am kind of curious of these other wheels. So, let's go to our tech yard. I've been collecting these other kind of wheels somewhere right here. Medium armored wheels. And then we have large armored wheels. And these have no kind of traction, but they handle a whole lot of load. I think they're a little quicker than what I have. These have... Lots of load, zero traction, are basically the same. What's the difference? Hmm. All right, let's check it out. Let's just experiment. Let's take these, put these in here. And yeah, it, oh, we do not have a lot of ground clearance for that at all. Okay, let's, oh. That does not give us a lot of ground clearance either. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Can I? It's not a way to put these underneath. Can I reverse it? I kind of want the armor plating to go on the other side. Alright, so we have shielded tires at least. Um, let's suck up all of our stuff. Ooh, this seems kind of slow. Oh yeah, we do not have a lot of traction at all. Oh, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even make it that far. <laughs> okay. Apparently this is for some other type of chassis. And it doesn't look like we have good traction though. So that's really going to be a str yeah, we're slipping all over the place. I can see it. All right. All right, guys. So I think, I think I've kind of figured some stuff out. So I got my vehicle all back together. And now if I start to head out to the cold area, so I figured something with these, this thing here, right? So this pulse furnace, if you put it on the chassis, it tends, to, oops, it tends to do more. So what I, I have it like, oh, can't really shoot, can't really tell. So let's, let's go here. So I can kind of show you guys here. Cause I think some of the stuff is confusing. There's nobody talking about this stuff. So, all right, so I have one here, one there and one there. They're all on a chassis. So as you can see, when I roll over it, it highlights what it's affecting, right? So this is affecting the chassis. If I take another one and I stick it like right here, then see how that, see how it's going up over there? So if I place it down, see now we're we're like going nuclear now. And if I put another one on, we'll actually start to cook. So you can see my temperature's going up. And 
my vehicle's gonna start frying up here pretty quick. So see how it's starting to basically catch on fire. So we'll take these off and what I'll do is I'll carry these with me and this way I can still run my Centurion uh, cab and that way we, we end up with you know all the best of the best because when I put that other cab on there we lose a lot of advantages that the, the Centurion cab gives us which is one being able to haul around a lot of weight and be fast a little bit faster and more nimble so so let's head to the top of the mountain I'll see you guys up there and and if I come across one of those guys I'll show you guys what the what the shields what they look like all right so now first though we have to get our thing regulated here so I'm gonna nudge into the cold area I wonder how far I can go now I hit oh what the heck that oh my gosh 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 that's like an emergency I have no idea what is going on now so is this what we're supposed to be doing I mean, we're like overheating like crazy can I turn it off turn off how does that even work what's going on we're gonna blow up we're gonna blow up we're gonna blow up Oh my gosh. Uh oh. That's not good. That's not good. Nope. Get out of there. Oh, no. Out. Stop it. Get away. Uh, this is not good. I don't know what. How do I. How do I turn it off? Can I turn it off? Uh oh. Uh oh. We're gonna just explode any minute. Come on. You can do it. Make it. Come on. Get to the base. Get to the base. Holy cow. How do I turn that off? Oh. We're gonna we're gonna explode. I'm using all my weapons. We're gonna explode right here at the base. Oh my gosh. Get, get in there. At least it repairs a little. No it doesn't. Oh my gosh. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Uh tab. Dude. Can you stop and back with me? Oh my gosh. I can't even have it. Let me just take these things off right now. There we go. Oh my gosh. What the heck is going on? What? Are, when did these things start working all of a sudden? I've been pressing the key on them forever. Holy cow. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure what what just happened are those things bugged or something like I've been like assigning them to a key do I have any other ones on my vehicle okay we need to like try to figure this out okay guys I finally figured some stuff out here so I found out and figured out what happened and how these little generator things, these little furnace things, I mean, work. So I have one placed right in the middle of my cart right there. And what it does is it extends like a little radiated bubble over you to keep your vehicle heated and extreme colds. So if I come over here and, you know, we're starting to melt down or not melt down, but uh, cool down and I'm going to explode or whatever. So I hit this button and then look, it brings our temperature almost back to normal. Now what I've figured out is that it actually takes several of these to, to keep my vehicle safe. Um, about three of them to keep it, you know, to allow me to go up into the higher into the mountain area. And these actually use fuel. So that's why I couldn't get them to work is I had no idea that they took fuel and they take this fuel right here. And we just happened to make this heater fuel so that I could try to use this little tech heater somewhere up inside of our little mini base that we're going to make over here for, you know, using a little fragmenter thing. So that's what, that's what's, you know, what had happened is because I had actually made a few things of fuel to test out and then I accidentally hit the, or didn't accidentally, but I hit the key to activate my little pulse, you know, heater things. And 
And then because I had fuel, it used up that fuel to power all those heaters. And I had like eight of them on my machine. And and so I used all of that I had. And that's how I actually ended up figuring it out is that when I went to go look at my inventory, all of these were gone. And I was like, oh crap. So now I've kind of figured this out. However, these things do not last for a long period of time. So I think our initial strategy of just overloading our vehicle is probably still the best idea. So I'm gonna let this little cell wear off and then I'll, I'll remove it. And then we'll, we'll head to the, up to the, that area where I want to go mine some titanium. Okay guys, so we're heading to our little spot now. And what I did is I put a bunch of those little pulse heaters on there and then I disabled the key to them and that's keeping us right at the level to where we can actually repair and kind of make it into this area hopefully <laughs> so what I'm hoping to show you guys though is that there are the little shield generator guys over here so we're going to try to attack these guys they're coming so you see him right there so he's got a shield generator on him that's one of those curvy ones and so we're going to that generator from him. Get this guy off of us. We'll go scoop up his parts. And let's see if we can find the shield guy. Okay, there he is right there. So we're just gonna head down first. Get him right on his cab. There we go. And still, his cab's still going, so. Now it's right on his cab, so you have to be careful that you don't blow it up. Okay, so now if we look inside our deal, there it is. So we have one one more of these little generators that we can kind of stick on right there. Look at that. I almost have a whole set. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to head up to that little area, and we're going to mine that area. This might be kind of a long episode just because I had to jack around with that pulse heater thing, trying to figure that thing out. So hopefully we can make it up there without hitting any of these little bouncy things right here. Okay guys, so we are up on top of this little plateau area on top of this mountain where we have a good amount of the titanium resources. So I'm gonna clear this area real quick. I'm not gonna really show that because this video is taking a little longer and I want to get all these guys taken care of. It's gonna take a while to pop, to knock all these guys out. So pop all those little balloon things. So let me do that real quick. And then I will start setting up the base and show you guys how I do that. All right, guys. So I finally got rid of a lot of these little crazy death plants, but not all of them, cause I can't quite reach them. And as soon as you go into this black crater, I start to overheat like really good. So I don't know what it is about the little black crater. Sometimes I can kind of go in and sometimes I can't. So it seems like maybe when it's in shade or when the sun goes down or up or something. Oh boy. Yeah, I still have a lot of those flowers. There's a whole bunch in the middle that I just can't reach. So there is a lot of the titanium on the edges right here. So you can see what it looks like right there. And that's going to allow us, you know, to, to mine it up and everything. So let me lay down a little mining platform. See if I can find some kind of flat space here and see what we can do here. So I'm just going to do like a, just a simple little thing here, just too wide. Then we're going to put our thing down like this, I think. Just like that, like that. And I'll put one of these there and scroll out. We're going to put another one right there and then we'll come around to this side and we're just going to put one in the middle like that. And then we're going to put our little generator right here. And then let's see, we need our little pipes we can put it in like that and then I'm gonna need to adjust because I want these filling the um, the silos okay so that's putting it into the silo that one's putting it into the silo that one needs to be reversed now it's filling the silo reverse that one good so oh no the wrong way 
way. That was, that was going the right way already. Um, okay, there we go. So now out of the fragmenter, we have it going into this silo, into that silo, this one, and that one. And then we have our power thing. So let's put some carbon in there. That should give us a good amount of carbon. And then now I have to repair because I lost all my stuff. Okay, there we go. And let's see if we can get in here. Yeah, we're, we're starting to get hot. So I wonder, back out of here, if I pull one of these little generator things off, is that going to be too much? All right, so yeah, we're still cold, but we're within somewhat operating temperatures and I can kind of get in here a little bit now. So I'm sure there's a seam. So now let's grab. I'm um, grabbing it. Come on, grab, 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 grab. Don't fall down all the way over there. Oh, get out of there. Okay. Oh boy. Those plants are still getting here. All right. So now that's going into there. Nice. Look at that. So we have some fragmenting going on. Let's see. Can I pick up that boulder? Is it picked up? Good tell. There we go. So I'm just going to drag these over here like that. You have to kind of like hit it twice on these things. So there we go. Uh oh, nope, stay there. Roll down the hill. I would have made this too close to the, the edge. Hey, get back here. I think I can push it off a little bit like that. Okay. So I should auto pick those up. Let's see about this one right here. There we go. Push it over there and drop it. And let's grab this piece. Can we get that piece? Can get it. I'm assuming it has a seam on this. Oh boy. That one has a seam. Alright, now I should be able to push that. See, I don't even have to move. Drop that right there. Hey, stay there. Stay there. Okay. Okay. And push it over there. Drop it. Nice. Getting some getting some titanium. Nice. Need to find out where the seam is on this thing. Oh, there it is. I think we got it. Oh boy. Get out of there. It's stuck. I'm stuck on. Okay. So. And then push it up there. Drop it. And let's do some more. Push it up there, drop it. This is working out good. Let's see, can I get that piece? I turn around. Uh, overheating. Okay. And then, all right, now I'm just kind of curious. It's processed. A few chunks, big chunks too. So let's see what we got in this silo. Nothing in that silo. This one, oh, look at that. We have tungsten, we have nine titanium over here, 30 tungsten, and then what do we have on the other silo? Sun's out now. So this one on the front, we have nothing. So, wow, it's still, man, we're still not getting much titanium. Look at that, that's crazy. Not in another silo, right? It's nine on that one. Weird. All right. Well, 
guess I'm going to do this for a little bit and just see how much we can get. We got 10 now. All right, guys. So I have been collecting a bunch of material here and it is like a real crazy balance that I have to do. Basically, when I'm inside the black crater here, let me, there we go. that in half, it is like super, super hot. And then so my thing starts to overheat. And then, so I have to pull off some parts. And then when I come up here, it starts to freeze to death. And then I have to like not stay out very, <laughs> very long. So you can kind of see it on the left side of the screen where my temperature is. So right now I have it just balanced, just enough where I can kind of hang around in this little oh, crater. Uh, and then I can kind of pop out and pass off this material up here to the fragmenter and then pop back down into this little pit and just keep on grinding away like this. And it is kind of a tedious process, but it is all about mining, you know? So we'll just chunk that up there and then get a bigger piece over here. See, if I go in further though into the pit, we start to get too hot. So I have to really be careful. Let's see, where is the seat? There it is. So let's grab this piece and we'll go up here. Just do a few pieces like this. But you guys kind of get the idea like how I'm having a balance right on the edge of this crater. And then I can't go too far. Um, I don't think. <laughs> maybe, maybe I can. All right, we're gonna wait for these last few rocks to be done. And then as you can see, I'm starting to freeze now. So now we're gonna have to slap on one more of these things. Probably two more. Oh, that's not good. I don't need those guys showing up. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Holy cow. They have like some explosives or something. Oh, who's, who's firing rockets? Oh my gosh, that dude's got rockets. <gasps> oh, jeez. Hurry, 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 hurry. I don't need to be getting hit by a rocket. Oh, he's still shooting. Okay, so let's see. Where's this rocket man at? Whoa. Okay, I need one of those rocket things. Where'd he go? Is he down here somewhere? I'm hoping one of these things blew him up. Oh, there he is. Oh, shoot. Oh, we gotta get out of the way. Alright. A little precarious over here, for sure. Super tactical here. Okay, we gotta get rid of that guy. Let's go. There we go. Okay, so we got him. Now we gotta get rid of Rocket Man. We're gonna hide on the other side of these bouncy bushes. There he is. Is he partly destroyed? He is partly destroyed. I think he must have hit one of those things. Let's scoop around over here and see if we can take this guy out. Oh, gosh. There we go. Dude. Okay. Man, there's all kinds of carnage over here. Okay, so let's go. This stuff. All right, and empty the silo. So let's see what we got. So we got 15 of the titanium bits. Ooh, we got 30, and another 30, and 26, okay. So wow, look at all this we got, holy moly. Let's pop all this over there. Couple of rocks. Okay, anything in the other silo? Nothing in the other silo. And this one, that one, nice. All right, we're gonna turn this off, and then we'll come up here. Oh, I did actually put down this little tech heater right here, and all it does is just, like, if I turn it on, it, if you look on the left side, it just balances off the temperature while I'm near it. 
and that's it. I can't really mount it on my vehicle, so it doesn't do any good. It just uses the uh, the fuel. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. I'm gonna bring the fuel back with us. Actually, you know what? I, I think I'll let me leave a little bit in here. I'm sure, it was an easier way to. I think I can hit. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Scroll wheel to do that. So we'll leave a couple units in there. They only last like a minute. But now let's see if we can make it back to our base. Oop, don't go that way. Okay, kind of made it back here. So I got these guys on my tail. So let's get rid of these dudes real quick. Oh my gosh, I'm so like slow at the moment. Dude's heavy with all the titanium stuff. Holy moly, what happened to him? Oh my gosh. Let's see, get, get out of here. Holy cow, come on. Jeez. What the heck? Okay, so what the other guy just blew across the whole map. So, all right, let's get the heck in here, man. Oh, there we go. Shoosh. Okay, man, finally got like repaired and made it back safely, kind of, sort of, not really back to the base here. So let's see what we got real quick. Oh wow, so there's all of our stuff. I'm not even gonna be able to put that in a silo, so let's put it in this one. This one's empty. So we can kinda count our our treasure here. Let's see, the rest of the stuff is normal. And oh that's a cool little armor plating. To try that, check that out. Let's get this one. And yeah, we got a lot of that. So Okay. All right, so let's look inside the silo again. So this is what we got right now. We got a ton of tungsten, and then we have 30, 60, and then, what is that, 90? No, 84. So 84, unit, or 84 pieces of titanium, and hopefully we can turn that into enough to build the other, other things that we need to make, like the, let's see, I can't even remember what it is now. It's been, been a struggle to get here <laughs> so all right we already got the windmill or the wind turbine thing or wind generator and that was kind of a disappointment until we can kind of figure out where to put that then we also built the tech heater that seems to heat up just a small area around our base um, and then we need to do the frost regulator so now that we have some titanium we should be able to refine that and figure out what the heck that does what else do we have? Then I think we can refine some of the titanium down and finally build the super crab cab. <laughs> the super crab cab. So we'll, I want to make that. And then I'd like to make one of these other deals here. Now we have a few different options on those and they're in our um, deal over here. So if we go to like our little armor crab thing, where the heck is it? Is this it? Yeah, there it is. So we have the crab cab, and then there's this one, the heavy hauler. But we need to, like, get the license for it. And then we have the harvester cab. Both of these seem kind of cool. They have some cool modifiers on them that we can use to maybe get a little bit better return on our resources once we can unlock these. But I definitely want to get this thing, and that's going to require uh, some tungsten, right? Yes, so we have pure, we need purified tungsten and purified strontium. <laughs> Gotta say that slow. So, all right, cool. Well, this episode is long, so I apologize for it being a little longer than normal, but I think I'm going to end it here now that we kind of figured out an area where we can go mine more tungsten. That's a great little, little area on top of the mountain, that little plateau area on top of that the second, not this mountain, but the one next to it. And it has a ton. There's still a ton more there to, to mine, but I got to finish clearing out all those crazy plants and need to figure out how to manage our heat system. There has to be a way to do it because all of the other little rover enemy guys are able to run around just fine. And they are not seeming to have the same issue. So there must be some component or something, or maybe I need to figure out how to use a little furnace heater thing that's for the vehicle better with uh, with maybe some fuel or something like that. I just don't want to have to make a ton of that fuel. That's expensive. It needs a bunch of that red phosphorus stuff. So that's a pain to get too because there's not a lot of places to get that over in the jungle area. So it's kind of a, 
a lot. But anyway, with that, you guys uh, uh, make sure you do some comments and let me know what you think. And if you have any ideas on things that I could do or try, then I'll make sure to do that in the video. And I have a couple other videos that I want to focus on coming up after we, we kind of figure out some of the tungsten stuff where we're going to do some special vehicle builds and see if we can make kind of like the fastest and maybe like the, the most, you know, the strongest vehicle and kind of like the ultimate tank vehicle as well. So I want to like make three different versions, maybe like a good hauler vehicle and do some things like that. See if we can kind of figure out, you know, what the best configuration is for exploring all the terrains you know nicely so anyway with that i appreciate it and i'll make sure you like and subscribe on the videos and hit the little bell notification for more like this and i will see you guys in the next video thanks a lot